So you might be wondering what I'm going to do with the transom. Um, it's not as neat and tidy as I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to replace it with a solid piece of hardwood. Then I'll be able to varnish that and it'll look beautiful. Uh, so what I've done is I've stood it up and I've made a pattern of the transom. And what I'll do now is I'll take it to the bandsaw and I'll cut it out. And then I'll grab some beautiful Australian jarra and I'll make a, a wooden transom just like that. And so because I forgot to film it, I'll show you what I did. I got my little mould, which I will be able to use for all the rest of my fishing boat hulls. And I just traced around it with a pencil. I put two little marks at the bit edge here so that I could then transfer it over to here, get those little marks in line at the top then I redrew the bottom there. So now I can cut these out, glue them together, and they will be one solid piece which I can laminate onto the transom. So I'll cut them out with my new band saw. This is how the transom turned out, looking beautiful. And the next step in this little adventure is I have to come up with a way to steer the boat. So I've already done some patterns and I'll show you them. As long as this thing stands up. I needed a rudder and a tiller. So what I've done is, just out of some pattern material, I've drawn up the shape of, a, of the rudder I want. And then I've also uh, drawn up the pattern for the tiller. So now what I'm going to do is make them out of uh, solid timber and I'll show you what I've done. Uh, I'm sorry I'm having too much fun with this little project and I'm jumping ahead without filming but I'll show you what I've done. I took the pattern of the rudder and I cut out three pieces of this beautiful oak hardwood and I'm going to laminate them together into one piece and what I did was I just tacked them into place just with little tiny nails just to sort of hold it into place and I've given it a sand and rounded up all the edges and you know that's looking pretty nice and I did the same with the tiller and instead of uh, using just all solid timber I've put in a piece of uh, of Oregon into the middle just to make it look nice. I'm going to have to thin that down a little bit but that's uh, what I've done and instead of nailing the three pieces together which would have definitely split the wood um, I've just tacked it together with a hot glue gun just so that I could smooth it off and get that nice shape to it but what I'm going to do Uh, once again, it's easier to show you than to tell you, so I'll get on to doing that. 
So I want this sandwiching to be pretty neat. So that's the sort of thing I'm going to have. So what I'll do is I'll take this one away and this one, this is the central one. Now I'm going to put the tiller on. I think that's about right. I'll just have a look. Yep, yeah, that'll be about right. And I'm just going to describe where I'm going to cut. So put it on like that. That's about it. So just with the little edge. Do it a few times, make sure I can see it. Hope I can see it. There we go. And now I'm going to use a hacksaw blade because that's about the finest um, tooth cutting thing I can use. Now I'm going to cut this and you'll have a bit better idea of what I'm about. Okay, so now I can show you what I was gas bagging on about before. This is how I'm going to do it. I've separated these pieces of the tiller. So what's going to happen is this central piece of the tiller is going to go into this slot. Just like that. And then... <coughs> I'm going to lay that on, this will all be glued down, and then with these side pieces, just like the central piece of the rudder, I'm going to cut out the slot that the rudder's in, and there'll be a little piece here, and then this piece will be laminated on, and it'll be nicely stuck in place. That's the theory anyway. So when I find the little piece that dropped, here we go. This is great fun. I thoroughly enjoy doing this sort of stuff. Because the end result is going to be terrific. So there's the there's the tiller sandwiched in. Be a lot easier to deal with when I glue it all. But and then oh, that's a bit rough. I'll just use a little nail file to just. Tidy that edge up. I highly recommend a Swiss Army knife like that when you're doing little modelling jobs. That will be glued onto there, and that'll be glued into there. Same on the other side, and we'll have a rudder and tiller for the boat. I'm also going to put the hinges in and I'm going to use brass rod and I'm going to flatten the brass rod out and insert it into the middle in two spots and I'm going to have bend the rod and have the uh, the round bar sticking down. Uh, 
I'll show you again, much easier. So as you can tell, I'm having a ball making these model boats. Um, the next one's going to be a 1930s James Bond type speedboat. Um, but if you'd like to follow my progress, you're welcome to subscribe and uh, follow along because there's plenty more model boats to come. Yeah.